Right. The other complication with this was that I tend to ramble. So I thought it was safer for all of us if I just pre-recorded the audio on each of the slides. It also afforded me the opportunity of putting a few of the music samples in the background as well on a couple of them. So I'm going to sit here very still and you can just listen to the, the voice. I'm Michael Bagg. I'm a sound artist and composer based in East Lothian. I'm the musical director of the Black Glass Ensemble and I'm presently associate artist in residence at Edinburgh's Queen's Hall. In 2018, I won the New Music Scotland Award for Sound Art for my work Titan, an installation commissioned by Cryptic Sonica, which was located in the wheelhouse of Clydebank's Titan Crane. As well as shipbuilding cranes, my palette of instruments extends from a foundation of electronics and software to handcrafted percussion from beach treasure, aeolian harps, and more recently, and the subject of my Connected Innovators activity, data. In early experiments, I had developed rudimentary software to transform into sound a file cataloguing a 4,000 year archive of lunar and solar eclipse events. Once I eventually got the software to start making sound, none of this stuff unfortunately comes easily to me. The experiment became part of a performance at the Scottish National Gallery of Modern Art. However, I wanted to work with data really in order to connect directly to information about our planet, and from that to enable a new music that spoke truthfully to our hapless drift into the Anthropocene. The feedback I received suggested that there were new ways in which my music could reach an audience, and potentially new ways in which the science producing the data could similarly benefit from these new perspectives. This coupled with the impact of lockdown on the day-to-day -day existence of composers and musicians encouraged me to redefine the scope and reach of my work. A Connected Innovator Award afforded me the opportunity to recruit specialist support to bring my programming skills up to a less clumsy level, and also the time to develop the software and seek out the potential endpoints where this new music might get itself heard. I called the project Witness Engines, as it seemed descriptively true to what I was setting out to achieve. Digital technology loves nothing more than a self-conscious association back to a more analogue industry. I began by live tracking the positions of Earth monitoring satellites and went on to consume live or nearly live data feeds from Open Weather Map and OpenAQ, addressing weather forecasting and air quality. The latter in particular brought a welcome note of activism as OpenAQ, who collate the data and supply the API, is an international organisation fighting air inequality through open data and community by harmonising air quality data. As a sound artist, I spend much of my time alone and I welcomed the sense of community and active or activist engagement that the activity was bringing me. Witness Engines were brought in as collaborative instrumentalists in a show at the Queen's Hall with the Black Glass Ensemble, which saw unpredictable weather feeds, satellite tracks and field recording evidence of glacier calving and spherics from VLF atmospheric receivers take their place alongside strings, brass and percussion. That performance was recorded broadcast on BBC Radio 3 and subsequently released as a rise from the twilight. Other recordings collectively named the Witness series were released at key cultural moments through the duration of the 2020 lockdown. This was a music created in part by the real-time experience of the world in a period of time that presented real challenges not only to movement and connectivity, but to time and memory. I'm biased, 
but I think time will show that series of recordings to be an apt and richly realised memorial for the impact of 2020 on the creative will. This work is like sonification in as much as it transforms data into sound, but it is primarily musical in nature, and in the balancing game of scientific usefulness and musical interest, it tends to camp with music. The Connected Innovator Award brought me into contact with scientists at the Alfred Wegener Institute in Germany, and I continue to work with a group of scientists there on musical models relating to Arctic and Antarctic climate modelling. We live in hope that this work will be supported as we approach COP26, but their interest is for the moment also in creating music. Scientists are creative folk, and the potential is for music to emotionally excite new audiences to raise their appreciation and engagement with the science. That was a liberating lesson for me to learn. Data, it seems, is becoming the common vocabulary of science and art. As to the future, the knowledge acquired during the Connected Innovator project and the increasing grasp I have over the software allows me to tackle new forms of data and consolidate data into my creative workflow. Next month I will be stationed in Torridon, mapping the territory with data and microphones, recording layers of sound and using the topography of the terrain to create new sonic signatures, new fluctuations in pitch and resonance driven by the formation of the landscape and the weather and the air. This is a commission from National Trust Scotland to work with their archaeology unit in uncovering long-lost illicit whisky distilling sites. Good times, especially as the Glenlivet is the co-funding body. In wrapping up, I continue to compose, record, experiment and play. I continue to absorb data and look for opportunities to engage directly with the research community to collaborate on work that is scientifically truthful whilst being musically rich. I continue to seek new musical forms that encompass the flow of data, that invites new interpretations, new qualities of engagement, and which speaks to the precarious nature of our time. I await your call, and thanks for your attention.